Hey everybody, Matt here with LGN Gaming. Today I'm going to do a real quick game recommendation. It's called Castle Story. It's a, currently available on Steam, I know that, and it is a very excellent game. I have very much been enjoying it. And basically the way it works is your goal is to build a castle to defend your crystal. Now, there's a bunch of different maps. It's still currently in the beginning stages, I suppose it's called. Um, I'm not, I don't, it's an indie game, I believe, and there's not a big, uh, it's not a lot of people doing it, I don't believe, but they are actually working on it quite often, and they just released an update, update not too long ago, I've been watching it for a while, and it just went on sale a little bit ago, so I decided to get it, and they actually have added a lot of stuff since the last time I watched, and it's pretty interesting, so basically, the way it works is, in each game mode, you have a crystal that you have to defend, and your Brickens have to defend it. And there's two different types of game modes, I believe. There is conquest, oh, there's conquest and invasion. So, let's see, which, I believe this one's for invasion, yeah. So some of them, some maps only allow for one type of thing, some maps allow for both. Um, right now, I'm, I guess I'll show you guys some invasion. I haven't really played on this map very much, but we'll go ahead. I'll put it on easy, because that's what I'm used to playing on. And I'm just going to be talking while I'm doing it, so... Uh, that's what we'll do. Uh, it's a very interesting game. Uh, it's kind of like... It's basically a defense game. Uh, except, unless you're playing Conquest, then there's kind of some attack as well, but primarily your goal is to defend what you have. Uh, especially, I believe we're playing Invasion right now, so yeah, that's solely what you do. It's taking some, taking a little while to load. But once it loads, we'll hop right in. Uh, I'm planning on actually making a couple videos about this uh, invasion mode. So it tells you basically what it is, and there we go. All right, so here we go. This is it. We got a single soldier. We got a single. We have a knight. We have an archer. And we have a couple Bricktons who can build. Now, basically the way it works is you assign jobs. So the first thing you usually want to do is get a source of wood. So basically you just set up, hey, cut down those trees, and then that's the current job. So they'll start doing that. And then once they cut down the trees, you can get them to build stuff. Specifically, you want storage. That way they have a place to put all this stuff, all these trees they're cutting down and whatnot. So if you just drag, it does that. And if you accidentally misplace one, uh, you can uh, press control and, and uh, get rid of it. Uh, there's not really any tutorials, like, in the game itself. You have to look them up separately. But I would definitely advise doing that. There's only three, and they're like five minutes long, but they're very helpful. So, I think it's on the Castle Story website. So that's how you'd find that. But, anyways, all I'm doing right now is setting up defenses. Now this is invasion, so I should probably leave some space around my castle unless I want to just set up a defense at these two areas. But that's kind of big, so I might just... I don't know what I'm going to do. I probably should have left more room by my crystal to actually build a little area. Now, a lot of times, wood can fall off the edge, which kind of sucks. Uh, I'm going to add a couple more jobs. That way, they're not just doing that. Because that's the way it works. They only do jobs that are available. So, you, right, right there, I just clicked for boulder, and now I'm doing iron. And now, hopefully, I'm going to do some brimstone as well. And then I think I'm going to do some plant fiber as well. That way I just get a little bit of every resource coming in. Now I'm going to edit. I'm going to make that medium priority. I'm going to edit this. And I'm going to add a couple things. I'm going to add two forges. This is to make iron. And a work table. A workbench, rather and two armor racks, weapon stands. Okay, there we go. Now, 
that's that. Now another thing you can do is actually you can dig tunnels and actually dig, uh, you can make quarries. So what a quarry is, is it's basically, you just dig really deep, that's what it is, basically, in essence. Uh, and you can get a lot of resources that way because there's only a limited amount that's actually available on the surface. So we have to start digging down in order to do that. And I kind of like the way they have the world set up where, like, it's just, like, floating Minecraft world landmass, kind of. Like, that's kind of what it reminds me of. But it's very cool, and I really enjoy the game. And as you can see, in eight minutes, the first wave of enemies are going to come. So that's actually a ton of time to set up. So we'll see what happens. Uh, currently, building is their priority. That building, that specific job, is their priority. I'm going to start working on my castle shape, I think. It's not really a castle, it's more of just a defensive area around the crystal. Then I'll probably set up a tower or something as well. Uh, that way the crystal stays safe. Now, the way the physics in this game works is there is gravity. So if you actually... Uh, stack your bricks one on top of the other and the bottom one gets destroyed which is what will happen the rest will crash down so it's kind of beneficial to actually like lay them like the way we lay bricks that way if the bottom one gets taken it won't uh... they all won't crash down uh... if you guys are looking and forgetting this game because this is a game recommendation video i really like this game i've already put a lot of time in and it, I've enjoyed it very much. It's only $15, which really isn't that bad. I think it was $15, somewhere around there. So it's it's under $20, I can assure you of that. And that's, I think, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Especially, I feel like this is a very quality game. Uh, I really like it. Um, I've been enjoying it a lot. So, I would definitely say it's worth what it, what it's for, what it's costing. Um, now there's not a whole, I wouldn't say there's an absolute ton of stuff you can do right now. There is multiplayer. I haven't tried that myself because I've never really played, I, d I don't know, I, I don't ever have like a really long time to put into a game because I feel like most games should in theory last a long time, but I feel like you can set up a conquest game between two people where instead of like there being the little rock guys that are going to attack that you'll see soon, there will be, uh, it's basically like knights that will attack you. Like the, his knights will try and attack you, your knights will try and attack him. It'll be a back and forth like that. And that sounds somewhat interesting, but I just don't have the time really to try and do that. But if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, I'm sure that'd be pretty fun. Currently, I'm trying to build these stairs, which is, ooh, might not work out the way I have it set up. The way, the the way things are built is somewhat tricky. Because here, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have these not go inside. I'm gonna have them go out, outward. Outward on all but the front. Um, the way you build can be kind of tricky because they basically a Brickton can only place things if he is like one above, if he's like one below. So if you have something set up like a real high wall, a lot of times they'll build themselves in such a way, they'll build it in such a way that they can't continue building it. So you got to make sure you add stairs here and there and be careful because they're not super smart. They'll try, <laughs> but the AI's been getting better slowly, but they are still pretty stupid. So you gotta be kind of careful the way you build things. Alright. And I'm going to add this just because that'll be like almost an extra layer of wall. 
Not that they're gonna, they're probably gonna attack very close to the door, because that's generally what they do. I bet it's getting pretty close to uh, when they're gonna actually attack now. So, hopefully, I bet it's just gonna be like one guy or something like that. I'm probably only gonna do a wave or two on this video, just because I do wanna do a whole gameplay, and I don't really wanna do this map. And I think I want to do Conquest as well. So, if you guys are interested in this game and you want to see me play more, like, actual actual playthrough, uh, stay tuned to the channel. Um, probably, uh, yeah, it's already been ten minutes. Definitely this week. Um, this coming week, I'll be probably doing a lot of this game because today is my record day. So I'm going to try and record all I can today, and it's probably going to be all that right now. I might hop on to Ark in a little bit, so we'll see. Might be a good mixture of videos this week. Maybe not. <laughs> I'll try. Um, but I definitely enjoy this video a lot. Uh, this game a lot, not this video. It's a real calm game. Fun to play. It's not too stressful. Uh, like, the enemies do come, but they're not, like, super scary or what, what have you. Uh, it's definitely enjoyable. Um, also, something else. Basically, the only tricks you need to know is if you want to make a job higher or lower priority. So, like, right now, that's medium priority. If I want to make it higher, I have to hold shift and click it. If I want to make it lower, I have to hold control and click it. And that's one of the tricks. And then if you want to actually, like mess with any item, like for instance if you want to make a weapons kit, or you want to make metal, you have to hold uh, right click to do that, and they don't really, I mean they will tell you that in like the little loading screens sometimes, but that's basically once you know all those things, that's all you ever need to know for this game right now, it's not super complicated to be honest, but I still enjoy it, I'm still liking it a lot. I'm just looking around the map real quick. The enemies spawn within the dark area, I believe. Not usually right outside your base, but they'll spawn probably in, like, I'm assuming one of these locations, like one of these locations outside your base, and then they'll run towards you. Sometimes, recently, I've noticed they get stuck a lot, which kind of sucks, but... I mean, I guess it doesn't suck, because then you have to fight fewer enemies. So that's nice, I guess. I don't know why they're getting so much wood. They always seem to do that. I would much rather them get, uh... Stone right now. Oh, I should increase the quarry. I know what I need to do. There we go. That should switch it so that they're starting to do more stuff. That's the thing. You can't assign people to individual jobs. You have to actually uh, just set priorities, and they'll figure it out themselves. So it's interesting in that regard. A lot of times it's uh, sitting and waiting for uh, something to happen. Like right now, I'm just waiting for the... Uh, next wave um so if you guys are interested LGN Gaming, I'm not sure if you saw the video recently set up a Twitch stream uh, so me and some me and Jacob have been uh, streaming uh, every Friday from like 6.30 to 10 uh, we've been playing Gears of War Horde, but I might also stream stuff like this like, if I'm just playing, I might just start a stream just to do it. Although, it's easier for me to stream for my Xbox, because I don't have a camera for my, uh, computer. I don't have a, uh, whatever those are called. Uh, wow, I'm going brain dead right now. Anyways, I don't have that for my computer, but I do have a Kinect for my Xbox, and the Kinect basically handles all the streaming, which is really nice. Yeah. So all I have to do is say... Uh, 
Xbox uh, broadcast or whatever. Oh shoot, I turned my Xbox on just by saying that. Um, and and it, it does it, so that's really cool. I really hope it didn't start a broadcast, that'd be something. Just my, uh, I don't know why that guy's just sitting right there. That hill might be too tall for him. I don't know, strange. Um, can you not hit him? The names are also really weird. Prino and... Okay, there we go. I was wondering why they weren't doing nothing. Okay, cool. So now that I have this, that's a wisp. That allows me to create another person. Basically, you just get them over time. As this fills up, you can get more and more people. Uh, so, that's that. Um, yeah, this is about as complex as the game is. If you want your people to heal, you have to have them stand by your crystal. Or create a separate... Excuse me. Healing thing. There are actual crystals you can build. Excuse me. That are... Um, like lantern, pylon. So pylon uh, creates longer... Basically, the blue area. It makes that go further. Uh, lantern creates light, so at nighttime it'll be brighter. Sentinel uh, shoots at stuff. Healing... Uh, heals your soldiers, and capture um, actually will take a uh, it will take control of it. A uh, there's they're not they only exist in conquest, but there are things that will allow you to get more wisps. It's kind of like a tiny crystal is what it is. But yeah, I think we're getting pretty close to the end of this video. Oops. So I'm just going to build a couple uh, of these while I can because I'm only going to have decent metal for a while. So I want to make sure I do that now. Because metal, uh, metal and brimstone are two resources I usually have a lot of trouble getting for some reason. I'm not sure why. That just seems to be the way it works. Um, but, yeah, I'm probably going to play for one more uh, fight, and then that'll be it for this video. And then I'm going to start a uh, gameplay, probably after this. Um, I might just go off this one and actually get, have a gameplay off this, because I'll see how long I can last on Invasion. That'll be a decent starting point. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, this game. I, I know I really like it. Uh, and I would definitely advise getting it if you want to play it, because it's really not too expensive right now, and it's honestly very worth it. Though usually the way I rate games is I want to play it for at least an hour for whatever uh, for every dollar it costs. So for instance, if a game costs sixty dollars, I look I look at it and go, will I play that game for at least sixty hours? And if I will, I'm like, all right, that's probably worth it then, because. Uh, and then, then it's like a dollar for every hour of enjoyment, you know what I mean? In this game, I d I've definitely already put in over 15, so this is definitely a good one. Uh, that's usually how I rate games, though, and now I've been looking more in I don't know, yeah, that's definitely what I'm doing. And I definitely enjoy it, and as you can see over here, we're actually starting to create that uh, quarry getting a little, it's not deep yet, but they're starting. So that's cool. Ooh, they're doing real good with metal. Do we have any stored up? Eh, we have some stored up. Not a ton, so that's good. Uh, have we made that kit yet? Yes, we have made that kit. That's good. I'll make a second kit here as well for an archer. Yeah, there are two types of kits, archer and knight. So, like, this guy's a knight, this guy's an archer. And you have to actually make Brickton's, put it on to uh, have more of either of those. And then, as time goes on, you have to face more and more stronger enemies. Uh, we killed two medium enemies so far. The only ones I really have trouble with are big guys. Uh, they will actually hit your knights and, like, fling them. 
and they'll do like almost half armor in one hit. So you really gotta make sure you have a lot of defenses for stuff like that. Also, if you can lock and unlock doors, like sometimes your Brickton's are very stupid and you're, there will be guys fighting the door and they'll be like, oh, I'm gonna just run right out that door <laughs> and let uh, everybody get away, get in. And sometimes you don't want that to happen so you can lock the door, but they're very stupid and they will do that because their AI isn't super smart. And I feel like that might be on purpose in some cases. Uh, they have been updating it pretty well. Um, I guess in the original game, you could, the Brickton's would actually, like, let's say, uh, I'm trying to find an example. Let's say, okay, let's say you had a Brickton right here, and then there was a job right here he wanted to do. He would go and just run right this way and then fall right off the edge and die. Uh, that's what I was reading anyways. I'm not sure how true that is, but that's pretty funny. Uh, and then when they die, they'll just respawn eventually back here. But it takes a little while, so I'm sure that would get pretty annoying pretty quick. If you were losing guys from general AI stupidity. But the game had they have been updating the game, so if you're worried about that, it is still in, like, the early phases. Uh, I don't know. It's similar to, like, how ARCs and Game Preview is kind of like that, but with Steam. Uh, I don't know what they actually call it. I, I probably do know, but I just can't think of it right now. So it's like that. Um, but the guy has been updating it, and already it's got enough to be a good casual game. And it's not expensive. It's not like a $60 game. So I think it's definitely worth what it's at right now, by far. Because I've put a lot... I've, I enjoy, I've enjoyed it a lot more than how much it costs. You know, get, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm enjoying it very much. And I think I didn't finish talking about the Twitch stream I was talking about earlier, because I think the attack started. And anyways, uh, LGN Gaming Live is what the Twitch account's called, if you're interested. Uh, I'm actually surprised how people start to watch that, because I didn't think anybody would. I'm, I'm leaning towards trying to get a partnership with Twitch, but... That's going to take a little while. I've got to build a following, and you got to stream at least three times a week for that. And I think I should be able to do three times a week, but I am working 60 hours. I'm, I'm, I'm moved up to working 60 hours a week now, so it's going to be kind of difficult to do that much Xbox and work and social life, and I have a lot going on. <laughs> but it's better to be busy than... Uh, I think it's better to be busy than not. Alright, so here we go. Archers are very bad in melee combat. Um, oh, that, guy, that guy's going to fight him too, I think. That might work out. I might have him start hitting the Brickman. Nope, oh, nope, that's not going to work. You know what? I need you to be a sword guy. No, no, no. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. This is not voting well for me. Yeah, so since that guy died, this is his little wisp. So he'll respawn eventually, but not yet. So I'm going to set up a pre cleanup job. here and make it high priority because it's generally good to have stuff get cleaned up because then it, a lot of times your guys will drop stuff and then not pick it back up or anytime you kill enemies they won't uh they, they uh, actually drop stone which I mean it's not a ton of stone but you might as well pick it up it doesn't hurt any uh, so yeah, there we go. This is actually going pretty well. I'm relatively surprised. Um, I believe I'm going to continue this as a gameplay. So if you guys are interested in, interested in that, uh, videos should be coming later in the week. Uh, thank you guys. Matt here with LGN Gaming.
signing off. I'll see you guys next time.